Hello there. My name is Terry Gorry and I'm a solicitor with uh, Terry Gorry and Company Solicitors. This short video is just going to look at franchising in Ireland, an overview. And if you are considering buying a franchise and starting up in business, then there are some important questions that I outline in the video which you should be asking in relation before you enter into your franchise agreement. Firstly, let's say or let's accept that franchising is a great business model, and the failure rate for franchising or starting a business through a franchise, through purchasing a franchise, is much much less than it is starting on your own with a fresh or new idea. So you know, there's no question about it. Franchising works. It's a tried and tested model of doing business, and a great way for many people to start up in their own business. However, you. You, you 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 still need to do some homework you need to ask some uh, fairly searching questions you you must recognize though that the franchise agreement from a major franchisor will generally be on a take it or leave it basis in other words there may well be very little scope for negotiation however with smaller franchises there may well be uh, room to maneuver so these are the types of questions that you need to ask and uh, satisfy yourself about and even in relation to a larger franchise if you're not happy well then you must obviously decide whether it's for you or not and whether you could live with the restrictions of what the larger franchisor's model entails. First question you need to have a look at is what law governs the franchise agreement? A lot of franchises, top franchises, may well be from other jurisdictions, for example, the United States. So you just need to be careful about what law will govern it in case there is a dispute down the road. What happens if the franchisee dies? In other words, if you die having bought a franchise, what happens to your franchise? Is there a renewal option when the franchise agreement ends? Is an important question. Can you sell it? Can you sell the business? You might have worked in the franchise for a year, two years, three years and done quite well, but can you sell it on without hugely onerous restrictions? When the franchise agreement is terminated, is there a non-compete clause? In other words, when you finish up with your franchise, can you then go and set up in another business, a similar business, outside of the franchise agreement? If the franchise agreement is terminated and the premises is yours, how much will it cost to debrand it? Because your franchisor will insist that it's debranded if it's no longer a franchise. What's the training and the system manual like? Is it kept up to date? Is there an advertising fee payable? Is this advertising fee justifiable? Is there a management services fee? And how is it calculated? Intellectual property rights then are another key aspect of any franchise. Does the franchisee have to inform the franchisor of any improvements he has made to the operating system? Is the franchisor the owner of the trademark? And if not, will he provide a license to the franchisee for the use of any trademarks and intellectual property necessary to run the franchise and to manage it and to market it properly? How successful is the franchise? That's a key question, obviously. Many people, or many entrepreneurs, see franchising as a good way to grow their business, their business model, their idea fairly quickly. But you need to be sure that if you purchase a franchise, that it is actually a successful, up and running, proven, successful business model. Who will own the premises? How long has the franchisor been carrying on the business? And how many company-owned outlets are there? In other words, the breakdown between company-owned outlets, for example, and franchisees may be important. Minimum purchase requirements, then. If the franchisor is supplying you with goods, is there a credit limit? Is there a minimum number of uh, stock products to be uh, imposed? In other words, do you have to carry a certain minimum range? Is the vehicle required? Will the vehicle need to be branded? What books and records will the franchisee have to supply to the franchisor? Franchisor is going to be keen that the franchise is working and operating successfully and so on and will want to preempt any difficulties or problems down the road. However, this may well involve the franchisor looking to inspect your books and records. So, you know, how often and uh, what books and so on um, would be important. Is there an exclusive territory? 
will a confidentiality agreement be required? Who will pay for initial on and ongoing training? As I say, is there a specific territory? Is there any agreement or is there any disputes about territory and who might be in the franchise area next door? Is there an opportunity for the franchisor to fur further subdivide the territory that you buy? Uh, is it exclusive? Then there's competition law considerations. How long will the franchise agreement last? Is the franchise agreement compliant with competition law requirements? And competition law requirements in Ireland are, can be fairly stringent. Is training provided for the staff, for your staff? Is it ongoing training or just an initial sort of a burst of showing you how the system works and then you're very much on your own? Franchisee advertising then is a key aspect of it, of developing your business. Will you be supplied with marketing materials, for example, leaflets, uh, letters, etc., direct mail shots? What initial stock will you need? Will you be required to advertise locally? In other words, will you have no choice but to spend more money advertising and marketing in your local area? And does the franchisor then have the right to communicate directly with your customers? If things go wrong then, well, has the franchisor the legal right to purchase the franchise from the franchisee? Is the franchisor entitled to appoint a manager if the franchisee dies or is incapacitated? Who is entitled to terminate the franchise agreement and on what? Disputes then, what will happen when a dispute arises? Is arbitration provided for in the franchise agreement or are you straight off to the courts to engage in some expensive litigation? Does the franchisee have to enter into any restrictive covenants in the, in the franchise agreement? My name is Terry Gorry. I've been an entrepreneur and a small business owner in Ireland for over 25 years, since 1986 in fact. If you're thinking about buying a franchise, I offer a free, no, con no cost consultation. The contact numbers you can see on the screen there, or you can email me directly at terry at businessandlegal.ie my practice is based in Enfield and County Mead and you can visit my website businessandlegal.ie to obtain some more information about franchising, about running your own business, about setting up a company, about partnership agreements, trademarks and other fairly useful information generally about doing business in Ireland. Thanks for watching.